Hello everybody, my name is Immersive Films, and from this last video set that I have here, I didn't want to tear it down yet, just because I wanted to talk to you guys about what I have done over the years to improve what my sets look like, like how to make them look more in depth, just bigger in scale, and just a couple of things that I want to go over is like the size and the depth of them, um, buildings, like if you're in a cityscape, and just little minuscule things like that trash can, those dead trees, you know, just like snow on the ground, little Lego studs to make it look dirty, just little things like that, and and uh, not very much, I just want to go over just like some basic things. So uh, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about here is depth. So what I mean right here is that like I have this little piece built here. And what this is from really far away, it looks like a cityscape. You know, you got like that blue outline there. And I also have back here, you can see, this this little red one here and you can put them together. And then it looked like a city background. So those things, if you put them really far away, it'll look like a city from the background. And that'll make your set look a lot bigger than it is. And I'm gonna put it in a clip from one of my latest videos. I'm right here. And you can see here is that I put little like you don't even need to have that big of pieces like you can just have like one of these pieces stand up in the background out of focus and it can look like a skyscraper like like it does not take that much to make it look like you have buildings in the background so like when it comes to death you just got to put them a little bit of the background have a stable support and it'll make like it'll just improve and make your shot so much more deeper than it actually is and yeah so building these actually um it's not that hard you just gotta like stack up a bunch of like plates it's kind of what i do for my um like floor set you just gotta put a little bunch of bricks on the bottom of them and then just make sure they're not visible in the camera so yeah building these um i would recommend them because they're not that hard um do like one solid color like um gray black um i did blue and red for like a comic booky type thing and i just send them out to the side here most of the time and you gotta be careful because they are kind of fragile and yeah those are pretty good to have for depth and just little skinny plates but those aside moving on to buildings here you want to be careful when it comes to buildings because they do rack up um very very quickly like all down here this is buildings so you want to be careful when it comes to getting buildings but just adding buildings and especially like you don't have to get these big on um, 200 like um like daily bugle the sanctum sanctorum the, the hotel jazz club like you don't have to get these big sets to add buildings into your set um let me see what i can get from this bottom drawer right here i've got a couple of small ish sets um got the fire station here i got the old daily bugle let me see if i can get it out they're really crammed in there so not very hard to break apart and you got the avengers tower another bit like a couple more buildings down there but just having these little buildings, if you want to have them like closer up front or like if they're in the street, having like little, a lot of little buildings is very good and it's very gusty. Uh, oh. We'll get onto this in a minute, but uh, just having a lot of little buildings to add um, just a lot of detail to your street or like cityscape. So if you were doing like, um, like a really up close shot of a city, then you would have like a lot of little buildings. But that's those skinny plates for that we were talking about before, those would come in for like far away shots. So these like small buildings, a lot of these I have. I'd say you can get them from city, but city doesn't really do a lot of buildings. So you just gotta be careful and look for them. And like fire station's good, police station's good. I actually have hold on. Up here, above my set, I have a police station here, and I have a bridge. I have a lot of stuff up here, but I have, a like, a really old police station. So, just, um, actually, you will probably want to get one a little bit smaller than that. But, uh, just, like, having a police station, a fire station, those things would be good. Um, like, a corner building's good. Um, this is a really old Daily Bugle, but it's, like, nice and tall. Those are good to have. I would recommend getting a lot more of those than I would these, because these... Now, my desk isn't too terribly big, so a lot of the like I have three of these built so far, and I'm gonna have a fourth one. They are gonna take like a fourth of my desk, so I really need to stop and put them somewhere else because they're gonna take up a lot more space. These don't take up as much space, so I would recommend having more of these than I would of the big buildings because these work just as well. Now, when it comes to keeping your video set clean, there are two things that you're gonna need the most canned air and a rag. Now, what you're gonna do with the canned air, I mean, you're just gonna like, 
the spray off dust um it works pretty well and if it's like a pretty big open area like this bugle right here this part can get really dusty because it's exposed you can just you know wipe off the dust here and if you need to get up in this little spot spray off the dust i don't know if you can see it in camera there's a little bit of dust on there you just spray that off and that doesn't remove the dust i know some people have like vacuum cleaners like collectors have vacuum cleaners to like get all the dust like away permanently but just for like an in-camera shot and you need to dust off canned air is really really good to have just like the boom it's gone um so canned air i definitely recommend having it's not like the cheapest thing but you, if you can get them in two packs at walmart they're good you do need to bring an adult if you are underage because apparently people huff canned air i had no idea and you have to be over 18 to buy this which sucks but oh well and just for rag rags are good to have just in general you know if you are spraying like don't don't shake the canned air don't like don't shake it up because then it might like freeze some of the lego pieces and you don't want that to happen so don't shake the canned air you know just like and that's it just just canned air and um a rag just are good to have in general the last thing i want to talk about is that little things that you can get from sets like so this is um oh shoot let me see if i can get out of here with not without destroying it <laughs> This is a little build that I got from my fire station that I just showed, and it's supposed to have a little flame piece that you can put on the trash can to make it look like it's burning, but I took that off, and now you can just have, like, a little back alleyway, like, newspapers here, trash can here, just, like, a little build to add detail, make the area look a bit more grungy, and then, um, right here is just a little build, not from a set, but you can just get, like, a couple of tree parts here and just make it look like a dead tree, and if these are going to be off to the side here, you can add just like a bunch of like skinny one by one by something pieces and just make them look like a bunch of dead trees from off to the side. And right here, this is from the Batman Batcave set and tore that off too. But it's like just like a little container. I don't really know what this is even. It just, you know, adds a little bit of detail. Um, Right here, you have a restricted area sticker from and I actually did accidentally push it in. But just little things like that, like really little things like that, like studs, like a little plate right there, just little things like that will add so much detail. And that's why I have like over in this drawer right here, I have just a bunch of like little minuscule things. Like I use this phone booth a lot. If you're an OG, you know this phone booth very well. And here's my bad signal. I got a vault here. I don't remember. You got a little gas pump, just like really little things that you're gonna see in like cities. And we've got trees here. Just little things you're gonna see a lot and that'll add a lot more depth to your city. Like you have like a camera here, um, like a couple <laughs> a couple of boxes, just to add a little detail. And if you're like in a war zone, you can add like the Destroyed Avengers logo, um, some traffic cones, just little things like that you wanna have. And speaking on little things, we're gonna move over to this side of my area. And you have um, a bunch of vehicles in these containers, like taxis, you've got a police car, I forget what's in here. Oh yeah, you've got like a truck. Um, you got like a little juice stand that I'll add in to the set sometimes. Um, you got a ship, just more cars and stuff that you can add to the city street. You got a, like a fire truck here and like a little um, shop. I think this is from a Batman movie set. Yeah, so just little shops and just little things to make your city feel more alive. And then the bottom here, you just have a bunch of more um, plates. And I would definitely recommend having a bunch of little plates. So, you know, gray on the top, boom, a lot more stuff on the bottom. And if you can build like a lot of these big plates up, you can have them be video sets. Like I have a gray one right here. I have a couple of like actually really big plates right here. Um, you got some like light blues. Um, let me see what else we got here. I think I got a purple one. <laughs> got a purple one right there. Just little parts. Um, this is a really little one, but you know, you can see the things coming off from the bottom. So they're really easy to I'm gonna try and do it with one hand because I'm holding the camera. Um, just like right, like right there. It's not connected on really where. We can just add them and make the set even bigger. So they're good to have. Let's, um, you know, you've got light blues. You've got like a black one right here that I actually had to take a little bit off. Of. I would recommend having a drawer of things like that to make your set even better and not gonna put all these back. But just having a drawer of those, you can have like really good, like many possibilities for sets.
And that's about it for what I have to say about set design. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this helped you um, improve your set design. And just if you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll keep making these tutorials because I really enjoyed making this one. And I hope this, this helps you a lot to improve your stuff. So I uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if this did help you. And I will see you all in the next one. Adios.